This is number 10. Okay, it talks about spheres and cones, which we've been dealing with. And it says, as a spherical glob of ice cream, which I'm going to rant on this for a second. Here's my problem with this. A glob is messy. It's not nice. If I said, Zach, you look like a glob today, you would take that offensively, which you should. Yeah, I'm not happy. Now, oh, you. I'm going to draw that for sure. Number two, spherical is half. Like, I think I'm going to draw it on a cone. I don't don't you worry about that. So another problem I have is that um, spherical seems actually pretty nice. Like if I, if, you were, if I called you a sphere, you wouldn't be like happy, but you wouldn't be sad. A glob is somewhat sad. All right, we're going to go ahead and draw this. Here is your sphere of ice cream, which is kind of like me because I'm wearing a pink shirt today. Okay, and then we have khaki. That looks just like me. All right. So, that's me. Wait, can we give it some black sprinkles on its head? That's kind of creepy. I don't like my ice cream with eyebrows on it, Alec. Eyebrows? <laughs> no, no. Okay, so here's your ice cream. It has a uh, radius of two inches. Okay, so we want to find the volume uh Mr. T. Oh. So how do you find the volume of a sphere? Yes. Four thirds pi R squared. Four thirds pi R cubed. So four thirds pi times two to the third power. And I think we ended up with did anybody have this already? Thirty five? Okay, so 33.5. All right. And now we want to find, now the point here is the cone has the same volume. So the ice cream melts into the cone and the volumes are equal. It perfectly fills up to the top. So we need the volume of the cone. What is the volume of a cone? One third pi r squared times the height. Okay, we need to find the height. So the volume of the cone is going to also be 33.5 <coughs> equals one third pi. The radius is the same, so the radius is 2 times the height. And we're solving for h. Alexa. Does the ice cream being partly in the No, no. Once it melts, it'll take over that volume. So if you're really good with the calculator work, you can divide straight up here by one-third pi times four, which is also the same as dividing by four-thirds pi. Wait, why are you dividing it by weights? See, it might have been a little confusing that I multiplied this on this side to the four-thirds, but it's the same thing. It's, it's an equality. It works. All right, and if you do that... I believe you get the rate or the height equals eight. <laughs>